hi welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be doing a quick one on this hotter neck infect we'll be making a tutorial on how to cut and sew an hotter neck please try to watch the video to the end so that you can really get what we are talking about so guys we'll be making use of this lace fabric and door face we are making use of one yard of door face so i'll be cutting the peplum part first because the fabric is limited so this is the measurement we are working with the shoulder of this person is 17 the boss is 41 the waist is 35 and the full length of this top is 25 so we'll go ahead and divide all this so i'll go ahead and fold my fabric into four that is the door face which is the lining after folding it into four i will be cutting out the peplum part first so i'll go ahead and take out the waist measurement Please, how I got the waist measurement, how to cut the waist measurement is just, I used the waist divided by 6.28. 6.28 is just a standard way of dividing a circumference of a circle. It's just very standard. When I divided it, I got 5, five point something. So I just went ahead to add it extra it to make it 6. So that the six I, I am making so that I will have excess for the zipper allowance and also for a little pleat that will be putting on this dress. So when I'm done marking that six, I went ahead to join it. Now I'll be taking the full length of this peplum. The full length I'll be taking will be 9.5. And how I got that 9.5, when you minus the half length of this dress, it will be the remaining part will be giving you eight. And the half length of this dress. Is 17 when you minus 17 from 25 it will give you 8 so i went ahead to add it extra nine and a half inch so that it will soon be short after all the joining and after all the the turnover so that's what i did so i'll just go ahead to keep marking the 9.5 all through just keep using the dots use my chalk to be forming a dot on it as you can see we'll keep putting the dots we reach at the end So we'll just keep marking it to the end of the fabric, as you can see. So once I'm done marking it, I'll go ahead to join all the dots together so that I'm able to cut it out. I'll join all the dots together so I can be able to cut it out. So I'll use my scissors, just go ahead to cut everything. I'll go ahead to cut everything out. I'm done cutting the waist, so I'm now cutting the down part of the peplum. Just make sure that you cut on the line that you draw so that you make mistake just go ahead and cut so once i'm done cutting it i'll be showing you guys how this peplum look like i notch the center of this i notch the other center so once i'm done i'll be showing you guys how it looks like you can see let me open it so that you can also see how it's the circle is so i'll just go ahead and open it for you see the peplum is looking so circle and it's a full circle this is 360 degree so i'm done i fold the other fabric so that i can cut out the front part of this dress so i'll go ahead to take my horizontal measurement so my my upper chest measurement is nine I'll go ahead and draw a straight line. My half length is 17. So I'll go ahead and mark my half length. I'll just place it and be very careful. Get exactly your half length. You can also add half inch for the joining allowance. So now I just added it. So I'll do the same thing at the other side. I'll take 9 inches at the chest line upper chest at the half length also takes 17 so once i'm done doing that i will just go ahead and use my ruler and join the lines together as you can see i'll just join the lines together so once i'm doing that i'll go ahead to take my shoulder measurements 
So my the shadow of this person is 17. 17 divided by 2 will be giving us 8.5. 8.5 i'll go ahead and mark 8.5 so i'll be taking my neckline of three inches i'll take my neck depth of three inches as well so i'm just working with the basics even though we are still going to readjust the neck but for now so i'll just i'll use my ruler to form so a sort of block so when I'm done, I'll now give it a nice circle so that it can just form very nice. So once I'm done with the neck, I'll take my tape to the chest line. I'll be taking in 8.5 so that I can draw a straight line for the shoulder so that there won't be any mistake. I'll just go ahead and draw a straight line. Okay. So once I'm done doing that, I'll go down by one inch for the shoulder slope. One inch, I'll now connect it together. As you can see, that is one inch for the shoulder slope. So from that shoulder now, I'll be taking my bust measurement. I'll just go ahead and insert my bust measurement. And I'm going to add one and a half inch for sewing allowance. That is the sewing allowance. So I'll go ahead to divide the remaining arm so I can get the midpoint. As you can see, I just fold, divide it by two. Me, I just went ahead to fold my tape. After marking it, I'll be going in by half an inch. I'll just go ahead to use my free hand to connect them together because I don't, I don't have an arm hook off at the moment. So I just connect it together as you can see. Once I'm done there, I'll go down to get my waist measurement. And the waist, you just divide the waist by four. You go ahead, divide your waist by four. Insert it. Whatever I give you, just put it down there. I should have put the sewing allowance, but I just remember that I've not inserted my darts on this dress. So I'll go ahead to take my darts, which is four. Which is four. So I'll go ahead to determine where I want that dart to end. So the dart will be ending on the underboss of this dress, which is 14. So I'll just go ahead. At that 14, I'll just go ahead and mark it like so. Yes. Now, now go in by four as well. Yes. By four. Then I'll be taking half inch at that waistline, half inch from here half inch from here making it one inch i'll be joining it to the under boss and mind you we are going to be replacing this one inch that we receive back at that waist so the waist measurement we are going to be adding one inch there this is not the sewing allowance yet this is just the dart we are replacing the dart so we are going to be joining it to the chest measurements so once we are done there we are going to be we are going now to work on our hotter neck effect. So I'll be coming in by half an inch from the neckline. From the neck depth, I'll also come in by half an inch from the neck depth. So I'll now join them together. Now making our neckline and our neck depth to be 2.5, 2.5. Then at the armhole part, I'll be coming now by one inch because I don't want this octa neck dress to be too exposed like the person's body to be too exposed so i just came up by one inch so now this one inch they have form our new armhole so i'll now go ahead to just i'll use my free hand to do this part if you like you can curve it if you like you can just draw it straight either way you want it to be i just went ahead to give it a little curve as you can see like this as you can see it, yes. So now I will now go to my waist part and add additional one and a half inch for the sewing allowance. Now I'm adding the sewing allowance. So once I'm done, I'll just join them together. So I'll go ahead to cut this. As you can see, I'll just go ahead. I came up by one inch. So I'll just go ahead to cut this with my scissors. Just use my scissors and start cutting. So just go ahead and cut this part. And be careful. Just cut it 
on the line you can cut it on the line you can cut it but don't come in just if you, if you don't cut on the line you should be outer outside the line not inside the two line so once i'm done cutting this this part i'll be using this this front now to get the back i remember that our back part is going to be starting from the armhole so our back will be starting from the armhole so I'll just go ahead. I'll be using this. I'll be placing it at that remaining fabric. As you can see, let me check if it will be enough for it. So I won't waste my fabric. So I'll be post. I'll be placing it there. So now I'm not checking the length. It gave me exactly what I want. So now I'll be I'll be taking my zipper allowance of one and a half inch for the back because there will be a zip at the back. Now I've take my zipper allowance one and a half inch, so I'll just go ahead and draw a straight line to join them together. So sorry, I'm adjusting the camera. So I'll go ahead and join them together. So I'm joining it together. So I'm not placing the front. Just go ahead and place the front on that line. So once I'm done placing it, I'll go ahead to fold in that the upper part of it to the armhole. I'll be folding it in and cut direct on it. I'll be cutting direct. I'll be cutting exactly what that is on the front on the back. So there's no adjustment at the front. So I'll just be cutting the same thing. As you can see, I'm cutting. So guys, once I'm done cutting this front, once I'm done cutting the back, I'll be using this net, this door face to cut on the lace fabric. So I'll be using this door face to cut on the lace fabric. So as you can see, this is the back. This is the front. So we'll be using them to cut on our lace. But before then, I'll be doing the turtle neck band. The band I'll be using for the turtle neck. For that turtle neck part. So it will be the width, the length will be 22. While the width will be 5 inches wide. So that by the time I'll fold it and fold half inch inside, it will be remaining 2 inches so I'll just go ahead and trim out the excess at the other side because it's not, it's more than five inches. So once I'm done cutting this, I'll go ahead to put it in my, take it to my ironing table and give it a nice press. You will see how it comes out. It'll be looking so beautiful. As you can see, that is it. 22. So guys, I'm done cutting the door face with the net fabric i just place the door face and cut out exactly what i have on the door face on the neck as you can see that is it i will not take it to my sewing machine and join them together so guys i'm done joining the nets with the door face as you can see i use the door face as a sort of lining for it i turn it over so that I won't add extra lining so now this is the peplon i'm done with the peplon Sorry, I did that off camera. I went ahead to add a peplum steel on that peplum part. So that is it. I just went ahead. I used the same material to cut on the peplum. So I'll now go ahead to join the back to the front and also put in my dart allowance. So as you can see, I'll just go ahead and join the back with the front. I'll also insert my dart on it. So inside my dart on it. So once I'm done, I'll be bringing it to show you guys. So I'm done joining the back and the front. You can see how it came out beautiful. So I'll go ahead to fold it together. And I will notch the center of this dress. I will notch it. And I'll go ahead to start pinning it all through the, the peplum. I'll just place the two center together like so as you can see i'm placing the two center together so i'll just go ahead and start pinning pinning all through 
right? It will not be that easy because of the peplum steel that is inside, but you just have to just find your way through it. Just go ahead and pin all through. Just make sure you pin before you take it to your sewing machine so that you will not find any too much excess. Like this is an excess that is there. I just went ahead to pleat it. You just make it a little pleat. And I'll just pin it down with my needle. As you can see, it, it couldn't hold it very well, but I'll just keep it. So, guys, as we pleat, I want to thank, I want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers for their support, for their help on this channel. You guys have really been a very huge support to me. And also to my new subscribers and those that are yet to subscribe that are watching this video right now. Please, please, please help and subscribe to this channel so that this channel can grow. Thank you. So, we are pleated. Now, what I'm done, I will show you people. So, I'm done. I've gone ahead to stitch it in my sewing machine. As you can see, now I'll go ahead to put the other neck. That is the total neck band. I'll join it. So, I'll fold this neck together to get the center point. So, I'll be folding it together to get the center point. I'll just give it a notch. So now I'll go ahead to bring this band. This is our band. This is that band. I've pressed it and I I put a hair still there so that it will be very smooth. So I'll just go ahead and pin it like so, as you can see. I'm pinning it. Just pin it so that before you sew it, make sure you pin it so that you will not say that one side is longer than the other, the other side is short. Uh, just just use your hand needle, pin it, pin it down. Just keep pinning it, yeah? So I will now go ahead to say so. As you can see, I'm done sewing it. So it's looking so beautiful. So now we are going to be inserting our zip on it, as you can see. So I'm just going to shape, but I will now take it to the machine. Put on the zip and I'll be showing you guys how it looks. The final, final, final looks. This top is so beautiful. Ah, if you see it on my client body. So guys, this is the final outcome of this water neck dress. As you can see, the water neck is looking so fine. It's looking so beautiful. See the turtle neck. Then see the trace is the peplon. I added it peplon still. Very hard one to make it stand like this. This effect. So you can see the top it's so beautiful okay thank you guys and please 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 do not fail to subscribe to this channel please subscribe to this channel so that i can get updates like this and please comment i love it when you comment my video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up please i know this is beautiful and it came out so beautiful thank you